The Marvel Rivals closed beta is quickly approaching at the end of the month. With the devs promising a constantly growing roster of playable characters, Nightcrawler is nearing the top of my list for most wanted characters with his teleportation mutant powers. Let's break down what I think his kit should consist of to make him an excellent duelist style character. Starting with the basics, Kurt Wagner is known for being nimble during combat, commonly relying on swords to be his go-to weapon. This would be exactly the way I see him added into Marvel Rivals, fitting the duelist class for being high damage potential, but a little weaker on the defensive side. Basic Basic combat combos would see Kurt combining his use of swords with hand-to-hand -hand attacks. His kit becomes extremely interesting with no zero ba range-based attacks. Luckily, he has teleportation powers. This would be the first of his three abilities where he has the power to teleport to any location on the battlefield that he can see. The cooldown for this would be extremely small, right around one to two seconds. As we've seen, the more experienced Nightcrawler gets with his powers, the quicker he regains his strength to teleport again. It would get to the point where it's not as much a spamming teleport, but teasing that line to where experienced players can always have an idea of where they can engage and disengage in combat. My vision for this ability is to immediately remove the need for any range attacks from Nightcrawler's kit. For one, he can easily evade projectiles if his teleportation ability is used correctly. Secondly, if he sees an enemy separated from their team, then he can teleport them to take them one on one. Where the skill comes in with this for the players being able to understand the area surrounding the potential target and concluding if it is worth a teleport to bamf in, get the elimination, and get out. Moving on to his second ability, this expands on the teleportation powers that the player will have control over. He will be able to teleport one teammate within the same range as his standard teleportation ability. The cooldown for this will be slightly longer, but still allow Kurt to continue filling the support role where he can use his powers to get information about where players are and then be capable of getting teammates away from danger if needed. This also can create 2v1 scenarios for more aggressive players. With close range characters like Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Hulk, players can use this ability to teleport them with Nightcrawler into a close range area to try to pick off two opponents at the same time. However, there is a catch with this ability. There must be an animation that lasts about 1.5 seconds of Nightcrawler grabbing onto his teammate and then teleporting to the location the player has already selected. This brief delay will allow for opposing players to prepare themselves for when the two players are teleported right next to them. And rounding out Nightcrawler's abilities will be another individual ability focusing on the power of his swords. Continuing on referencing the Uncanny Spider-Man comic series, Nightcrawler came to having a possession of an astral cutlass, a sword infused with more magical strength than his standard weapons. In Marvel Rivals, we can have Kurt be able to summon the astral cutlass for a brief moment of time before it needs to be recharged. When active, this will significantly increase Nightcrawler's damage output to the point where it takes two basic attacks to eliminate smaller helpful characters and being capable of doing massive damage to tankier characters. All in all, this third ability should continue to reinforce the idea that Nightcrawler is more offensive than defensive. If this were to be in the direction that the devs take, I would be so excited to see the combinations that players can use with all three of Nightcrawler's abilities. Now, for Kurt's ultimate, if you've read the comics, you know that Kurt Wagner has a dark past of being abused for having blue skin and clearly being a mutant. In X-Men The Dark Phoenix, we see this rage of peak on the train scene where he is ferociously able to take down all the aliens in close proximity. Yes, I do get a lot of inspirations from the movies, but remember, so many other ultimate abilities and Marvel rivals are close range area of effect attacks. Look at Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch and how much damage they can dish out with their ultimates. Nightcrawlers would resemble a lot of this, but essentially being almost impossible to hit him while he's executing his ultimate ability. Each enemy that is lined up would be a one shot, one kill with how powerful we know Kurt can be. While the ultimate ability is active, the player can lock onto one target, press their attack button, confirm the elimination, look at the next target, and immediately repeat the process. Essentially, if all the enemies are in a confined space, Nightcrawler would have the potential to wipe them all out. Where this is limited, though, is the extremely short duration. Once activated and the first elimination is registered, the player then only has three seconds to find the next enemy to refresh the countdown. Otherwise, Curse Rage simmers down. This keeps things modest with how the ultimate ability can be incredibly powerful when used in time correctly. Correctly. Before we jump into the team abilities, I would like to add that the cosmetic potential is more extensive than some of you think. In the recent Fall of the House of X storyline, we saw Kurt Wagner borrow an extra Spider-Man costume from Peter Parker. Now, I'm not saying that we need to see this in Marvel Rivals, as this would cause some confusion between if the player is Nightcrawler or Spider-Man, but it gives you an idea that having Nightcrawler in the game can lead to a lot more cosmetic options than you think. Anyways, 
I digress. Let's go to the team up abilities. This gets tricky. Nightcrawler is not known for having a lot of specific team up attacks with other members of the X-Men. So this allows us to get creative. Something I have in mind would be with Iron Man or some tech based character that can give a temporary damage upgrade to Nightcrawler's swords or even a package of nanites that acts as a defensive shield. This would provide some increase to Nightcrawler's weakest stats, but only if there is an Iron Man on the team. That's my idea, but I'm curious to hear yours in the comment section down below. Also, let me know if there's a specific character you want me to create a kit for them. Until then, have a great rest of your day, wherever you may be.